Hello, I'm going to do a quick review today of the Leica digital tape measure here. Uh, laser pointer tape measure. Uh, disclaimer, I am not a professional. Uh, do not claim to be a professional with any kind of contracting, anything like that. Just showing an overview of this product. If you have in-depth questions, you can find this at their website or any other great YouTube videos out there. Just wanted to give a quick overview of it. I actually use this item in some measurements and I'm very, very basic in my knowledge here. Uh, this particular one is the Disto. This is the D810 Touch. Um, just giving a, a quick overview here of what, what the item looks like. See me in the background there. Uh, it comes with a nice high quality velcro case here you got a belt loop uh belt loop actually does have velcro which makes it nice and easy so you don't have to take the belt on and off every time uh, it does have a nice cord there so you can don't drop it this item is actually very expensive uh, you can look online to get current pricing but uh, this is not a uh what i would call a cheap model so if you're looking just for point A to point B, this is definitely not your model here. Uh, just a quick overview here. You've got your, your home screen. This is your, your display. It's going to be a digital display. It is actually a, a, a touch screen, so you can use those functionalities. You've got keys here. You've got a on button, uh, several little selector keys, camera button, a couple of uh, quick save options here. You've got your off button and plus minus button. And I'll give you a very brief rundown of how some of these works. I'm um, just going kind of scrolling around here on the bottom. You've got a, a tripod adapter here. Uh, if you want to hook this up on tripod so that you've got very stable, very still uh, quality measurements there, you can. This item folds down. This is to hook onto a wall so that you know that you've got the end of the item, the end of your wall that you're measuring or whatever it is you're measuring. Folds out of the way for quick use. On this front side, you've got uh, all of your screens, your laser. It actually has a camera as well. Uh, so you'll see here soon some of the camera options. So once again, this is a very, very high overview of what this item can do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this on button. Uh, one thing I've noticed with uh, some of this technology, I have a, a regular uh, tape measure as well. It boots as soon as you hit the on button, it's ready to start measuring. You'll notice the more functionality, the better screen, all that. A little bit longer that it takes to boot up. Still not very long, uh, not too long, but definitely takes a little bit more. So what you'll notice when this boots up is you've got several options here towards the top. You've got your time of day, you've got uh, degrees, and that's obviously not talking about how warm it is outside. That's talking about where this item is in regards to how level it is. Are you holding it, uh, you know, basically flat? Are you holding it up close to what would be called 45 degree angle? Do you have it pretty much straight up, which is gonna be close to a 90 degree angle? So. That's one, some of the options there on the top. You've also got your battery way over towards the top left. And uh, also a functionality selector, which means basically this little uh, rectangle with the arrow. That just means you're in basic uh, point and click mode, which tells you how far you're going. And then you, you can see that there is also a Bluetooth technology here. This will actually transfer straight over uh, to a Bluetooth device. You will need to read the detailed instructions for that. I don't have all of that info here with me. You also have a couple of quick selector items here, which are gonna basically give you a quick get back and forth between your favorites. If you have two, two different items, you like one. Uh, this middle button here is basically just your typical point and click. So if you click on it, you're gonna see that the uh, the laser option comes up it's going to give you uh, the reading. So obviously if I put it over on a wall that's a little bit of ways, click the button again, 7.76. 
Obviously my hand is not super steady, but if I were to click it again to try to take another measurement, you're gonna get something that's pretty close to the same. So each time you click it, you'll see a saved option there um, for how, how far away that item is. And it just saves them right down in a row. Uh, if you want to uh, get rid of one of them, there is a clear button here. So you can hit that. It'll get rid of the most recent one. So as you can see, it just takes them all the way down. Uh, the a couple of options here, you've got a camera button here, which is gonna allow you to actually start using the camera features of this. You also have a function button here. This function button is gonna pull up a menu screen and you can actually use your, your arrows to, uh, to navigate this function. So you'll actually see all the different uh, items that are available, all the different uh, functions of this camera. I'm not gonna go through these. You will need to reference the uh, actual manual here to, to see a better overview of all these items, but there's sky's the limit with this thing. Uh, so I'll clear out of that. One of them that I have used is actually a feature to where if you are outside and you don't have a, uh, you know, you, you can't really select an endpoint and all this kind of stuff. You've got this item, which kind of looks like you can see a window there with a couple of lines. If you click on that, it's going to actually pull up a camera for this. So real quick, you can kind of see here's what's going on in the bedroom, a couple of decorations. Um, if I wanted to know a measurement here based on something, let's, let's just pick this example. Uh, I've got a picture on the wall. You can actually click to scroll these in or out depending on what you need. This is touch screen. So if you click it and just drag it out a little bit, you'll actually see that they, they change if you get it exactly where you want it. For this instance, let's just say we want to drag this in and I want to measure how, how wide this letter M is. You'll bring it in. This gives you a, as soon as you get it on, on the point with exactly where you want it to be, you'll click the button for the arrow for the laser. It actually does point the laser on it, but essentially what it's doing is finding a center point and it's telling you how far apart your measurements are. So if you click it again, you'll get 0.98 feet. So essentially that M is almost a foot wide. So if you were to take this to a commercial building and you got tons of windows and all that kind of stuff in there. You can do this to see the different measurements of different windows and stuff like that. So that's just one of the features here, just trying to show you how you do have your, your plane. Uh, if you want to, you can clear out of that and then clear it once and it'll just clear out your measurements, clear it twice and it'll take you back to the home screen. So basically you've got your straight point and shoot with uh, your, your laser measures. You can measure walls, put that up to the wall and take your measurements. If you're outside, it has plenty of options here for outside measuring uh, where you can actually measure based on the, uh, like I showed you there, it's got options to measure angles here, uh, has options to measure the square uh, square foot of a, a flat object. You can measure the uh, area, all kinds of options here. So once again, I'm not uh, trying to act like I know a whole lot about this item. I just wanted to show you kind of what you get with the product. And you're going to also uh, just get a nice overview of what's going on and how to use it in a simplistic form. So there's plenty of good YouTube videos out here where people uh, have really dove in, figured out this product and can spend super long amount of time walking you through all of the items there. But I uh, just want to give you a brief uh, update on this product. Highly recommend. I've got a lot of learning to do. Uh, the off button down here in the corner, just press and hold that and the product starts booting down. Once again, you'll notice uh, the, uh, it takes just a little bit to boot down. This is a very high-tech item, so it does have to go through a boot down process. 
only a couple of seconds there, but not bad. So just wanted to throw this out there. I hope you liked the video. Hope it uh, answers a few questions for you. Once again, this particular product is the Leica Disto D810 Touch. Uh, for pricing, current pricing, please uh, check online. So once again, just wanted to throw that out there. I hope you've enjoyed. Take care and I hope you have a great day.